This is a question from Putnam 2018A1. It says, we have a pair of positive integers. 1 over A plus 1 over B is equal to 3 over 2018. And what, what is A and what is B? So first of all, usual strat strategy. We just multiply both sides by 2018 times A times B. Okay, so uh, 2018. A, B, multiply the right hand side equal multiply A, T, A, B. So all together we can just have polynomial on both sides. So here we have 2018 times B plus 2018 times A equal 3 times A, B. And so 2018 B times 2018 A minus 3 A B, 0. So like I said, our ultimate goal is to turn it into something that's actually factorizable. Right now, it's still not completely factorizable because if I just, uh, for example, factor out B, for those two terms, then I have basically nothing useful, right? So how, how can I make it uh, easily factorizable? So here, I, when I see those two terms, 2018b, 2018a, that motivates me to try something plus 2018 times something plus 2018. Could it be A and B? Because that way, here A times 2018, here B times 2018, right? Those two terms coming out. So the question is that here I have A, B coming out. There I have 3 A, B, right? So I have, still have to make up for that. So first, let me. So, 2018b plus 2018 squared. So, if I want to make up for that, if I multiply by 3 on this side, right, which means I have to make sure that here 3 appears here as well, because 3a times b is 3ab. Imagine that. Right, but... If I, if I put a 3 up here, which means even though I have 3AB, but I don't, here I have 3A times 2018. But here I have 2018 times B, so there's still 3 missing here. So not everything, not everything is in line, right? So that is not nice. So instead, what do I do? Instead, perhaps I put a 3 up here and put a 3 up here as well. So that way, 3a, 3b gives me 9ab. Uh, even though that's not 3ab, but here's what's going to happen. So here I have 3a times 2018. Here, 3b times 2018. There I have 2018 squared. So that way, even though it is not exactly 3AB, but here I have a common factor of 3 coming out of those three terms, right? So that gives me the motivation of multiply by 3 on this side, on both sides, right? So by th 3 times 2018B times 3, three times 2018A, Minus 9, 0. Right? So they almost look like the same. Right? Except I have except I have positive 9AB. There have negative 9AB. Right? What if I 
What if I change this positive into negative? Huh? Also this positive into negative. So that way I still have positive 9AB. But here I should have negative, negative this term, right? Also negative this term. And negative, negative, still positive. So this term is still. So here, the only difference here, right? So here, which means I only have to multiply by negative one on both sides. So plus, minus, minus. So now they are exactly the same. Except here I have this extra term. So what do I do? I just plus on both sides. Same term. Right? So this is still the same. Right? Still exactly the same. So that way I can just rewrite the left hand side into that two factors. Right? 3 8 minus. 3b minus 2018 square. Like I said, our ultimate goal is reached, rewrite it into a several factors of positive integers. Right? The right hand side we have a nice number, a fixed constant. So in fact, 2018 can be written into Two that times one thousand nine. Right. So next we just try out different possibilities. Right. Try out different factors. Right. Could maybe this could be equal to one, or could be equal to two, or could be equal to four, or could be equal to one thousand nine, or could be equal to one thousand nine square. Right. But still, we have to rule out the non-integer solutions. Because not every uh, possibility turns out to give us positive integer solutions. Right? So to quickly rule out the non-integer solutions, we will use modulo operation, modulo arithmetic. Right? Which means we use the remainder. So 3a, 3b motivates us to use the modulo of 3. And use the 3 as the modular or the divisor. So here, right, 3a multiple of 3. 2018 is not a multiple of 3. Right? So 2008, 2018 divided by 3 gives us a uh, remainder of 2. But here we have a negative, so remainder negative 2, so which means remainder is just 1. So. This is in fact mod 3. Huh? Remainder is 1 if divided by 3. And same, 1 mod 3. Huh? So this side, of course, this is also because they are equal to each other. So still mod 3. Three, remainder 1. Right. But notice that no, notice that 2 is what? 2 is not remainder of 1. 2 is remainder of 2. If divided by 3, remainder of 2, right? Obviously. But 2 square, 2 square. That is 4. 4 if divided by 3, what's the remainder? 1 is that's the remainder. Right? And also, right? 1009 divided by 3, remainder is just quickly, just 1. Right? This is easily verifiable. Right. And also, also, since 4 remainder 1, 
9, so multiply together. So 4 times 1009, remainder of 1 as well. And also this square on both sides. Square on both sides. Still remainder is 1. Right? And the rest is easy. The rest is just to find out different possible combinations. So again, combination of uh, two is impossible, right? Two cannot be either of them because uh, they're all both modulo remainder one, right? Cannot be two. So it's either going to be uh, this, this times this times this, or so left hand side. It's going to be four times. Uh, so for, first, we have to consider the consider one times two thousand eighteen squared. Right, that's the first possibility because one is remainder of one divided by three. Right? Also, two thousand eighteen squared remainder is also one. So that's first possibility. Uh, the second possibility is 4 times 2 squared, 4. 4 times 1009 squared, also remainder of 1. So, or, Or four times one thousand and nine bracket, like I said, remainder also one times one thousand nine. Right. That's well, difference. Difference is that here I group one thousand nine together. There I group four and one thousand nine together first. Then there is another one thousand nine. Yes, so these are, I think, I think are all the possibilities. So the rest is easy. Rest is just linear equations, All right? So this guy be one. So this this guy be this number, or uh, this guy be this number, or this guy being one. Right? And so this being four. And this factor being this number, or this uh, switch, or the last part. So that this equate this equal to this number, and this expand equal this. So we have uh, three, probably six, set of linear equations, uh, easily solvable. So I believe in the end, six possible different solutions. But uh, when it comes to pot negative. Negative factors, for example, what if I have negative 2? Uh, what happens if I say negative 2, remainder is what? Remainder is negative 2, plus 3, remainder is 1, divided by 3. Right? This is also possible. But if I use that, that as a combination, so uh, what do I left? I'm left with... Here I used up a negative one, a negative two, so neg uh, two squared, negative two times negative two, so negative two times 1009 squared. That's the, uh, the other factor. That way they multiplied together to give me 2018 squared. Right, but what's that remainder? Right? Like I said, remainder of the 1009 squared is just one. And 
remainder of negative two is also one. So remainder one, remainder one together, multiply together, also remainder is one. All right, is, is this possible? All right. So for this factor to be negative two, for this factor to be this number, is it possible? Don't think so. Because that way, 3b would equal to this number plus 2018. But this number is already a big negative number. So b turns out to be a negative integer. But they require to be positive integers. So the negative cases, I don't think, is possible. 